Let's take a look at some of the navigation options of the Cobalt console. Cobalt uses a tab-based system to allow you to customize exactly what you're looking at on every screen. You'll find these tabs located at the top portion of all of the screens. To make a change to where a tab is, select the tab either by pushing the tab button until you find the tab you want or touch it on the touch screen. To move a tab, push and hold the tab key and hit either the right or left arrow keys to move back and forth between your screens. If you have multiple tabs on top of each other, you can push and hold the tab key and hit the down arrow key to split the screens either horizontally or vertically, toggling back and forth by pushing the down key again. To put the screens back to their non-split mode, push and hold tab and hit the up key. If you open a new tab, like preset by hitting preset, you'll notice the tab will load. We can now move this tab around. If we're done with this tab and would like it to go away, we can simply hit the escape key and it'll disappear. You'll notice that main playback and live have little lock symbols next to them in their tab. These are locks so you cannot accidentally close them. On Cobalt, we have a series of docks. Docks are areas in which other modules can live. There are four places we can put a dock. On the bottom of the screen, like our device control dock right now. On the left-hand side of the screen, like our browser dock. We can also place them on the top or the right-hand side of each screen. To modify the docks on a particular screen, select the screen, most commonly just by touching it, push and hold the Setup button, and hit the Browser Dock button. This will bring up the Dock Area Setup screen. Now this works for each individual screen. As you see, we have a left area, right area, top area, and bottom area option. Using our keys, we can navigate between these, or we can simply touch it with the touch screen. Within each area, you can now select which dock, if any, will be loaded there. Once we've made our selection, hit Modify. Go down to OK and hit Modify again. Within each dock, we have the option to enlarge or zoom the dock. On the touch screen, we can push and hold the Expand button and drag it up and down to change the size of our dock. Or, with the dock selected, we can push and hold Browser and roll the level wheel. Some docks, such as this master dock, allow you to zoom in and out. To do this, push and hold the format key and roll the level wheel. As we work with Cobalt, you'll discover a number of options that can be loaded into each dock. This is totally customizable based off what you want your screens to look like and how you want to operate the desk. 